Um, Stefani, how is uh, uh, Shakira and is uh, the knock she took in the warm-up game one of the reasons why she wasn't uh, playing today? Uh, Shakira is, is fine. Um, we have her still under observation. She's She's been bowling and stuff like that, but yeah, other than that, she's she's fine. And today, uh, with the bat at that stage where you were three wickets down, maybe almost four wickets down, uh, in your mind, do you think that you have enough batting depth to counter those kind of situations against other teams? Yeah, we do have the, the batting depth. Um, no doubt about that. I think, you know, today is definitely tricky. We um, we play against, you know, Thailand. We, we have never played them before. So it's more like you have to spend time at the crease and, you know, get used to their bowlers, which, you know, I don't think we, we did that properly. Um, but yeah, it's something that we, you know, go back to the drawing board and look at and, you know, going forward. Stefani, with probably most people's first chance to have a look at Thailand, what did you make of them? Because they s certainly uh, probably gave you some uh, nervous moments. Yeah, it was a bit of a nervous moment. Um, I think they're, they're really good bowlers. Um, I reckon, you know, in a few in a few years time they'll definitely you know give team teams um challenges um yeah and I'm, I'm 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 really pleased that we get to you know go over that hurdle um today um yeah it was it was it wasn't great you know being at the the non strike and seeing you know wickets you know wickets falling so i'm really happy i could smile now <laughs> will you talk about it in a few years time do you think that they could upset a team in this World Cup? I think the way they're playing, the bowling attack, um, could definitely cause some trouble. I think they play consistently, bowl consistently. Um, yeah, I think they might, they might, you know, cause an upset or give teams a scare or scares, yeah. Um, of course, the West Indies have improved a lot of the last two ICC Women's Championship cycles, and part of the reason has been the ICC Women's Championship that you get more games. Um, considering that, how important do you think is it that the Women's Championship cycle in ODIs expands beyond eight teams, so other teams also can uh, improve with more games? And do you think there's a case for a similar championship cycle in T20s? Um, possibly. Um, I think it, it, I don't think it would hurt to see, you know, having um, a T20 championship. You could see how it has improved, you know, teams in the 50 over game, and you know, definitely teams want to improve in the T20 as T20 as well. And you know, a lot of you see a lot more competitions, you know, coming around. You have IPL and you know, Kia Super League now turn into 100. Um, so yeah, I think I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't mind seeing you know something like that. Um, so I, 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 you know, other teams could actually improve in that area as well. Um, you could easily have been twenty-seven for four today, were it not for the decision review system. Have you talked as a team about um, the best way to use that? Because obviously it's not been used very much in women's cricket. And um, was it quite apparent to you that you wanted that decision review today? Um, that was one that, that was tricky to be honest because um, even myself don't really understand the review system and yeah we talk as a team about you know try and when you're backing up on the non-striker and try and stay as close to the wicket where you could you know have a better angle and a bet better view you know to help your partner out um, <clears throat> but somehow I I didn't see because I, I didn't see um, what happened really and you know I was talking to Campbell and she was like you know telling me skip I think we should go for it and I said you know if you if you're positive then yeah go for it and you know she she got the the better of it Just staying with that question on uh, the use of the DRS, are there processes in place back home uh, which helps you um, perhaps practice the way you would maybe utilize such systems in world tournaments? Um, no, I don't. No, I don't think so. No. Uh, the franchise tournament that uh, you had in December. 
uh, which is something that has given you a few more players option. Leanne Kirby came out through that tournament, is coming to your side now. Uh, how important do you think is having these kind of almost semi-private uh, T20 tournaments and maybe in future expanding them with foreign players as well uh, as preparation for world tournaments? Yeah, it's very much important. Um, it was really nice to have a franchise back home and you know, we talk about expanding it. So even having, you know, foreign players, not even just for the one in Trinidad, but we had, you know, a mini um, CPL for women. And, you know, we talk about, you know, trying to expand that and have, you know, international players come in and boost in it, just like, you know, other T20 tournaments around the world. It's gonna be a bit slow, but, you know, once, I've, once I, it, it gets going, I think it would definitely expand and, you know, having more, international integrating with the people in the Caribbean and you get the crowds to come out and you know support and you know grow the cricket you know not just international but for us in the Caribbean just to add on to that India have been fairly slow with their uh, introduction of women's IPL as well do you uh, see an opportunity for the West Indies to become the third league uh, essentially to expand for with the women's tournament rather than uh, the IPL well I'm not sure the IPL side of it, but I know for the, you know, T20 back home, there's talk about it. And, you know, there's, you know, just like the IPL where, you know, there's a trial and stuff. Um, it's pretty much the same that we did. And there, there are talks that they want to improve it and going to improve it. So I, re I reckon going forward, it's, it's going to, you know, get better.